Good evening, Sister Victoria. I'm Sister Sandra, and I am really, really excited about this fire at the altar prayer experience. I do believe that it was um, put on Bishop's heart to be able to touch many as many people as possible and um, with our special guest I really believe that Pastor Maya White is going to be a blessing to our house this evening and I'm just looking forward to that um, so family as you are joining us if you could please like tag and share someone that you know that this prayer experience will be able to touch and help we really would uh love that if we have any first time visitors we'd like to acknowledge you as well and um if you drop ftb in the comment someone will uh love on you as we move into this amazing um prayer night that we're about to experience that's right. And as we prepare to go into prayer right now, let's go ahead and take that posture and get ready for this move of God that's already in progress already. 2 Thessalonians 3.3 3. But the Lord is faithful, and he will strengthen you and protect you from the evil. Whether it was good or bad, you went through something. But what we want to do on tonight, we want to cast all of our cares on him. Because on tonight... We are coming and we coming in prayer because we're in warfare. Amen. So on tonight, we're going to take time and we're going to just take these next few minutes to center ourselves. Now, I want to invite you. You have liberty. Say liberty. You have liberty on tonight to come and kneel because sometimes you just got to bow and give it over to him. Amen. You also have the liberty. Now, how many of you are believing God for something this season? Everybody that's raising your hand, I want you to get a sticky note. And I want you to write down what you are believing God for because we're going to put that on the wall of faith tonight. Amen? So go ahead right now and take this time and you may be seated because this is going to be a different feel on tonight. We're just going to take this time. I want you to make sure your phones are on silent or vibrate. And I want you to take this time to meditate and focus. Brother Jeremy, can you put the scripture up? that I want us to go through tonight as to what we're going to just kind of meditate on because the Bible tells us to do this. It says here in Psalms 19 and 14 that the words of my mouth and the meditation, say meditation, of my heart be acceptable in your sight. Oh Lord, oh Lord, you are my strength <laughs> and Father God, you are my redeemer. So at this time, I'm going to leave you at liberty. You can go ahead and you can take this time to come to the altar. You can write what you believe in God for and take these next few minutes to focus and meditate on him. Amen. 2 Thessalonians 3.3 3. Thessalonians 3, 3. But the Lord is faithful and he will strengthen you and protect you from the evil one. Deuteronomy 31.6 be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or terrified because of them. For the Lord your God goes with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. Isaiah 41.10 So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Proverbs 2.11 Discretion will protect you and understanding will guard you. Proverbs 4.6 Do not forsake wisdom and she will protect you. Love her and she will watch over you. Psalm 5.11 But let all who take refuge in you be glad. Let them ever sing for joy. Spread your protection over them, that those who love your name may rejoice in you. Psalm 21 May the Lord answer you when you are in distress. May the name of the God of Jacob protect you. Psalm 34, 19 
The righteous person may have many troubles, but the Lord delivers him from them all. Psalm 46, 1 God is our refuge and strength, an ever-present help in trouble. Psalm 57, 1 Have mercy on me, my God, have mercy on me, for in you I take refuge. I will take refuge in the shadow of your wings until the disaster has passed. Psalm 59, 1 Deliver me from my enemies, O God. Be my fortress against those who are attacking me. Psalm 138.7 Though I walk in the midst of trouble, you preserve my life. You stretch out your hand against the anger of my foes. With your right hand, you save me. Psalm 144 Keep me safe. Lord, from the hands of the wicked, protect me from the violent, who devise ways to trip my feet. 1 Thessalonians 5.23 May God himself, the God of peace, sanctify you through and through. May your whole spirit, soul, and body be kept blameless at the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. The one who calls you is faithful, and he will do it. 2 Corinthians 4.8 We are hard pressed on every side, but not crushed, perplexed, but not in despair, persecuted, but not abandoned, struck down, but not destroyed. 2 Samuel 22.3 my God is my rock, in whom I take refuge, my shield and the horn of my salvation. He is my stronghold, my refuge and my savior. From violent people you save me. I call to the Lord who is worthy of praise and have been saved from my enemies. John 10.28 I give them eternal life and they shall never perish. No one will snatch them out of my hand. My Father, who has given them to me, is greater than all. No one can snatch them out of my Father's hand. I and the Father are one. Psalm 23 The Lord is my shepherd, I lack nothing. He makes me lie down in green pastures, he leads me beside quiet waters. He refreshes my soul. He guides me along the right paths for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. Surely your goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Psalm 121 I lift up my eyes to the mountains. Where does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. He will not let your foot slip. He who watches over you will not slumber. Indeed, he who watches over Israel will neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord watches over you. The Lord is your shade at your right hand. The sun will not harm you by day nor the moon by night. The Lord will keep you from all harm. He will watch over your life. The Lord will watch over your coming and going both now and forevermore. Psalm 91 Whoever dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. Surely He will save you from the fowler snare and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with His feathers 
and under his wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness will be your shield and rampart. You will not fear the terror of the night, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the pestilence that stalks in the darkness, nor the plague that destroys at midday. A thousand may fall at your side, ten thousand at your right hand, but it will not come near you. You will only observe with your eyes and see the punishment of the wicked. If you say, The Lord is my refuge, and you make the Most High your dwelling, no harm will overtake you, no disaster will come near your tent. For he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. They will lift you up in their hands, so that you will not strike your foot against a stone. You will tread on the lion and the cobra. You will trample the great lion and the serpent. Because he loves me, says the Lord, I will rescue him. I will protect him, for he acknowledges my name. He will call on me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life, I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. back together the master potter we thank you father we declare that this atmosphere is holy ground we give you permission that you don't need to have your way let this not just be another service let this not just be another experience lord god but may we leave here lord god smelling like you father speaking like you father walking like you father talking like you father we command heaven to send your fire god we need you to remove some things that we've been carrying and not casting. We cast our crowns at the feet of your altar. Every concern we leave in your hand, Father. And as the fire removes things that shouldn't be, we ask that it cleanses and purifies. We declare that this is holy ground. Yeah, we place things on the 
wall, but now we place our worship at your feet. For you are worthy, God. You are awesome, God. Prince of Peace, do what you do. Jehovah Rapha, do what you do. You can have your way. Jehovah Sabaoth, we get out of the ring, we get off of the field, and we let you fight for us. You can have your way. And we feel this moment of prayer. We feel this invocation, and we declare that this is holy ground. We declare that the enemy's ploys can't stand in this room. We declare that the enemy's plans can't stand on Facebook and YouTube. We speak to minds, oh God. And we declare that every mind that is within us is the mind that is in Christ Jesus. We know who we are and we know who we are. So we don't worship from a place of need, but we worship from a place of appreciation, adoring the King of Kings for all that you've done and all that you're going to do. In Jesus' name, everybody say amen. You can have your way. And as we love on you, Father, we ask that you receive our praise. Somebody just say those words, receive our praise, Father. Hallelujah. Come on and put your hands together right here. Hallelujah. We love you, Lord. Right here.
one I've talked to them. They your love, your love is greater than ours. Greater than ours. No one, no one greater. greater. Your, love your love is greater than ours. Greater than ours. There's no one, no one greater. greater. Your strength, your strength is, greater than ours. is greater than ours. There's no one, no one greater. Can you divorce yourself from the music and lift up your hands and lift up your voice? If you called on people, but they weren't greater than our God, I dare you to lift up a shout of adoration. There's no one greater than you. You are Jehovah Jireh. You are Jehovah Nisi. You put a banner for our problems and everything that we go through, you call it victory. You turn our beauty from ashes, oh God. Thank you, God, that you turn our mourning into dancing. That's how we know that there's no one greater than you. Come on, everybody say it. Everybody say it. There's no one greater. There's no one greater. I tasted and seen the sweetest of love. And that's how I know there's no one greater. I tried him. Responsibilities, but it reminded me once again that when the wise men came to see Jesus, the Bible says when they saw him, they kneeled down and they worshiped him. They humbled themselves. These men of high nobility, high knowledge, had to cast down their crowns and just say thank you to God for sending the Savior of the world. And they provided him gifts. They gave him frankincense, myrrh, and they gave him gold. Someone say gold about fire at the altar you know that in order to get gold you have to be tried in the fire and where God's fire is his presence is there and he makes everything beautiful so father we your wise men we come and bow at your feet and we give you the gift of our worship tonight asking you to come into this place even online and have your way God 
even now, can you just lift up the sentiments of your heart to him right now? We call you who you are. We call you who you are, God. We bless your name, God. Oh, we honor you. Everybody call him who he is. Say, keep. 
for keeping our minds. That's what we call you. Oh, you are a keeper, keeper. him your gift of worship even now if he's been your keeper if he's been your father if he's been your helper if he saved you somebody just honor the king of kings tonight you're worthy lord you're worthy lord we're the remnant who came back to say thank you father thank you for helping us when we didn't think we could make it thank you lord god when others walked out and turned their backs on us you were right there by our side you were who you said you would be. And Father, we honor you. We present our gifts to you because we believe that you're incredible. You're amazing. You're righteous. You're awesome. Oh.
lifted all over the house of the Lord this morning, this tonight. Amen. Come on, every hand, every hand. You're streaming tonight. I want you, amen, right where you are to build an altar. Come on, I want the words of God to, the fruit of your lips to honor God tonight. Come on, give him the fruit of your lips all over the house of the Lord tonight. Come on, honor is so important. We honor you tonight, God. That's it. Come on, on this night where we've come seeking presence, Lord, where we come, Lord God, seeking the fire of the Lord to fall upon us, we honor you first. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody begin to open up your mouth. Amen. You say, Bishop, I'm not really that kind of person. Be that kind of person right now. That's it. God, we honor you. We lift you up. We adore you, God. Hallelujah. You are so much to us, Lord. And we give you the glory tonight. Yes, we do. Hallelujah. We give you the praise tonight, God. We come seeking presence, God. We don't take it for granted tonight, Lord. Hallelujah. But we thank you for your presence, Lord God. We don't take it for granted. We thank you for your presence. Hey. Come on, I want you to join hands with that person that's next to you right now. If you have legs to stand, I want you to stand. Amen. In this moment right now. Amen. Come on. Before we would go any further tonight. Amen. I want you to pray now for that person whose hand that you're holding tonight. Come on. Even if you got to stretch across the aisles, I want you to make contact with somebody tonight. And as the spirit of God would lead, I want you to begin to pray for them right now. I want you to pray that tonight they will not leave this place the same. That God will honor their heart. That God will honor their seeking tonight. And as they have come to this place tonight, not by obligation, not by coercion, not by manipulation, but they're here tonight because they have a seeker's heart. And we pray in the name of Jesus, God, that you will honor every heart tonight, Lord God, that every burden that we're believing that is removed, every stronghold that we believe is going to come down at that strong name of Jesus Christ, every situation that they're believing you is going to get better, Lord God. Come on, I need you praying for that hand you're holding right now. We believe it in the mighty name of Jesus now. Lord God, hallelujah, that you are turning situations around and things are getting better. I speak better over their situation. I speak better over their circumstance. I speak better over their condition. In fact, God, I declare and decree tonight that better is the end of this year than when it first began. We thank you for it now, Lord. We destroy now any spirit of heaviness now any spirit of interference now any spirits that will become a nuisance or a distraction in the house of the Lord we thank you tonight Lord that you can have liberty in this room we thank you that tonight Lord that you can move by your power and by your spirit oh God we thank you that you're going to Lord light a fire in us that will begin to burn like never ever before come on believe it now believe it now for my neighbor for the hand I hold, for the house that's standing next to me, for the legacy that's standing next to me, for the, for the children who's connected to the hand that I'm holding now. We thank you, Lord God, that you have not forgotten about us. And we love you tonight. It's in the name of Jesus we pray. Amen, amen, amen. Now, if anybody's excited about what it is that God is going to do, hallelujah, on the inside of you. Hallelujah. Come on, clap your hands tonight for what he's doing on the inside of you. Thank you for contentment. Thank you for rest. Thank you for settling my nerves. Thank you, Lord, for calming my mind. Thank you, Lord, for centering my emotions. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody give him glory tonight. He's worthy. Hallelujah. 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 
Hallelujah. Come on, y'all. We're going to receive from the Lord right now. But come on, tell him he's worthy. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen, we've been declaring that 2022 is the year of partnerships. Come on, declare that now. Say it's my year of partnerships. Amen. I want you to find somebody in the house of the Lord to partner with right now. And I want both of y'all to give God a praise because the end of this year is going to be so much better than when it began. Come on, I don't know who you're going to get. I don't know who you're going to grab, but you can't do this praise by yourself. Come on, you can't give this praise by yourself. I don't see nobody moving. Come on, you can't do it by yourself. Find somebody and hold their hand. Find somebody and touch and agree with them. Find somebody and believe right now that he's a God of his word. And God, if you do it for them first, that's all right with me. Do it in the name of Jesus. Move in the name of Jesus. Show yourself strong in the name of Jesus. Do it right now. Hey, God. In their body, in their body, in their body, in their body. Regulate now, regulate now, regulate now. Regulate now. Come on, touch somebody, touch somebody. Hallelujah. Come on, right now, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Come on, I don't know what you came here for tonight. This wasn't a program. This wasn't a program. This wasn't a third Sunday night program. This is where we are seeking God for fire, God. Hallelujah. Burn up everything that's not like you. Fire, God. Hallelujah. Let the fire of your presence fill us tonight. Fire fall down. Do it now. 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 Come on, I'm not gonna let you get off of it. I'm not gonna let you get off of it. Do it now. We honor you, God. Hallelujah. That's it. That's it. That's it. We settle. We settle here. We settle here. Hallelujah. Come on, all over the house of the Lord. Give God a wave offering in this place tonight. There it is. Come on. That, that's it. Don't stop. Don't stop. This is not a program, so you don't have to be quiet when everybody else be quiet. When the Spirit of God leads you, come on. Liberty, God. We release liberty in the atmosphere now. Come on. We release liberty now in the atmosphere. Come on. We release liberty now. We come against everything foreign in this atmosphere. Everything that's not like you, God. Hey, God, we got to touch you tonight. We got to hear from heaven tonight. We want to receive an outpouring tonight. We need some things destroyed in the spirit realm tonight, God. Yeah. We, we can't go finish this year with the same battles that we've had. Hey, yeah, yeah. There's so much going on in this crazy world. We need to hear from you, God. Yes, God. We need to be settled and stable, God. Hey. Yeah, so we honor you, God. We thank you. We bless you tonight. Yes, God, I will. Listen, listen, I want to I wanna lead you right now in this time of adoration. Everybody say adoration, adoration, adoration tonight. Adoration tonight. Adoration tonight. Adoration tonight. As we adore God. As we adore God. As we adore our King tonight. Come on, let me lead you. The woman of God is coming tonight. She's going to lead us tonight. But I hear the Spirit of God saying, my, my people need to release adoration in the atmosphere. Come on, just tell God you adore him now. Tell him you adore him now. I adore you, God. Come on. Come on, just begin to tell him you adore him and tell him why. Because you are mighty, God. Because you are an awesome God. Because you are a God that never gave up on me. I, I adore you, God. Because you're a God that gave me another chance. Yes, God. Because you're a God that would not let the enemy, hallelujah, have his way with me, but you lifted up a standard. That's it. Come on, right there. Begin to adore him right now. So we adore you, God. We call you great and mighty. We call you incredible. We call you king of all kings and lord of all lords. We call you ancient of days tonight. And you're worthy tonight. Come on, open up your mouth and adore him now. Give him a hallelujah. Come on, we give you hallelujah tonight. 
Hallelujah is reserved for you. Hallelujah is our highest praise. Hallelujah can go to nobody else. Hallelujah tonight. Bless your holy name tonight. Oh, you reign tonight. Come on, adore him tonight because he reigns. You reign tonight, God. You reign tonight, God. Come on, open up your mouth. You reign tonight, God. You reign tonight, God. You reign tonight, God. Hallelujah. Yes, you reign tonight. And wherever you reign, you rule. Hallelujah. Wherever you reign, your authority, hallelujah, is released. We declare it tonight. Yes, we do. We declare it tonight. Yes, we do. You're a burden lifter, God. You lift burdens, God. You're a God that's always making a way. You're a God that always come through for us. So tonight we adore you as the God that comes through. You're the God that never sleeps. You're the God that never fails. You're the God that always come through. Yes, you do. You always come through. Yes, you do, God. Hallelujah, God. Hey, you are. I need somebody that needed God to come through this year. Come on, say it. You always come through. You always come through. You are supplier, God. You always come through. You are supplier, God. You're most honorable tonight. And we magnify your name tonight, Lord God. We adore your holy name tonight. Come on, open up your mouth. Let me hear you. Let me hear you. Let me hear you. Come on, there's a sound, there's a new sound that God is birthing in you. It's the ninth month of the year. God is birthing something spiritually in you. Amen. Everything you've been through this year, hallelujah, got you to this point of spiritual birthing. Amen. And tonight I want to be there by your spiritual bedside to tell you to push because there, there's some things that God, hallelujah, is bringing out of you tonight. There's some things that God is opening up for you tonight. There's some settling, hallelujah. There's a new season, hallelujah. You're about to go from the birthing room to the recovery room. Amen. You're going to recover from everything you had to travail through. Hallelujah. Everything that you had to push through. Everything that you had to carry. I hear the Lord saying you're going from birthing to recovery. Hallelujah. 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 Come on, let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Amen. Come on, clap your hands all over the building tonight. Amen. For the presence of God. Hallelujah. That's in this place tonight. Look at your neighbor and say something's going to happen in your house. Come on, tell them the next move is going to be in your house. That's the wrong. Uh, uh, they got here late. Look at somebody else. Tell them the next move is going to happen in your house. Amen. Yeah, yeah. Come on, tell them I don't know what you need to happen in your house. But in this next season, the next move, I dare you to put it in the chat online, in my house, in my house, with in my, my family, house. with my marriage, with my children. Yeah. The next move. The next move. It's Hallelujah. Gonna it's going to happen in my finances. Amen. Yeah. Or oh, we ain't going to be struggling like this at the end of the year. God's going to put some balance on this thing. Hallelujah. Happen. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. We thank and bless God tonight. Come on, clap your hands. Let's honor the presence of God that's in this place. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We thank you. We honor you. We honor you tonight, God. Play softly there. Amen. We're going to receive now the woman of God. I uh, shared with her that our assignment tonight is that God told us to come. There's going to be a revival. There's going to be fire at the altar. Amen. She's going to release some things. I uh, prayed and God told me she was the one to speak into our lives on tonight. And we want to give her the liberty. We want to honor the anointing that's on her, her life. Amen. That today, listen, she missed her. Uh, leading her people there in St. Louis to fly here, to be here for this service on tonight. And I believe that God has put in her something that he wants to unwind and pour into Beacon Light and to those of you that's connected here tonight. Amen. And so we want to honor because you cannot receive from who you will not honor. Play softly there. Just set the atmosphere. Hallelujah. You cannot receive from who you will not honor. Honor goes first. Amen. 
That's why you can't talk about, uh, about people behind their back and think that you're going to have God to receive. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. You can't talk about your spiritual leaders behind their back and I don't know this and that and yada yada and then think you're going to come into church and receive. Amen. From them. Amen. Hallelujah. Lift your hand now. Father, we repent for dishonor. We repent for dishonor, Lord. We know honor is esteemed in the kingdom of God. And so we thank you tonight, Lord, that we position ourselves as people who honor. First and foremost, we honor you, God. You're our savior. You're our keeper. You're our Lord. You're the lover of our souls. And we honor you tonight. But we even honor the woman of God as she would come tonight. We thank you for her very life, Lord God. We thank you that tonight, Lord God, that you would give her now such a settling, Lord. Make ministry easy tonight for what she shall lead us in, Lord God. We shall not be spectators. We're going to be engaged in this moment, Lord God. And we're going to give you glory and we're going to give you honor. Amen. Amen. She pastors the worship center in St. Louis, Missouri. And I thank God that she's my sister. Amen. She's my friend. And I thank and bless God for her being here on tonight with us at Beacon Light. Whether you're in the virtual campus or you're in the live sanctuary, I want you to put your hands together. Let's honor God for Pastor Maya White as she will come even now. Come on, you can do better than that. We honor her. Amen. Come on, do better than that as she would come. Come on, let's thank God for the grace that's on her life. your hands and let's honor the man and woman of God, Bishop and Lady A. Bear. Come on, clap your hands and open your mouth and celebrate your leaders. Hallelujah. We honor the Lord tonight for his presence and for what he is going to do in this place today. We honor the grace of God and the presence of Holy Spirit that is resting in this room tonight. I don't know what you came here looking for, but I want you to declare out of your mouth, I'm not leaving without it. Now, if you believe it, put a praise in the atmosphere. Come on. I want you to match your praise and your expectation. I want to give you this impartation before we go into prayer. Uh, Y'all can come back. But um, I want, I, I got to give you this impartation that's going to help shift your life. You may be seated uh, for what God is doing through the body of Christ in this season. And he is calling us back to the altar. And he is not just calling you back to the altar for religious purpose. But he's calling you back to the altar so that you can be refilled and re um, position to go out and be a burning one in the world because do I have a witness that can say we need some people out in every sphere that has the power of Holy Spirit that can affect change in the world I'm not talking about spooky change I'm talking about seats of authority that have the wisdom of Holy Spirit the only way you can get it is on the altar so we got to call the people of God back to prayer. And we thank God for leaders who can hear God saying, bring my people back to me. Bring them back to the basics so that they can be rekindled in my presence. This is not just a Sunday night service. This is revival fire. Revival is a supernatural intervention of God. Now, I'm going to give you a revelation tonight, and you're going to have to put it into application tonight. But you need to hear this. So, first of all, when I looked at the, the flyer, I said, okay, revival. We know it's Holy Spirit blowing his breath and, re and re uh, resuscitating something that has become lifeless. And I said, Lord, are you saying that the church has become a fossil? He said, basically, we've become fossils, meaning we're good to look at and to study, but there's no life. So, so you're here for revival, and I don't know if Bishop told y'all or not, but you're going to be at revival for a minute so that life can become 
be pumped back into you so that it can be pumped back into you so that life will be back in the church. It's available to everybody who will pursue God. So if you want it, you can get it. If you want it, it's available to you, to all who will pursue God with their heart. Now, Jeremiah 29 and 11, uh, 12 and 13, the Amplified says, Then you will call on me, and you will come and pray to me, and I will hear your voice, and I will listen to you. Then with a deep longing, you will seek me and require me as a vital necessity, and you will find me when you search for me with all your heart. This altar night, this is the first one. This prayer revival is releasing the spirit of prayer, and it's releasing new coals and new burnings. Now, prayer and pursuit are dynamic duels that release God's supernatural intervention in our lives. God is looking for the people who he can trust to steward his power. He desires to demonstrate his ability in the world. Not just in here, but in the world. He is looking for yielded vessels that will allow him to flow through them to show the world who he really is. Do I have anybody that wants your neighbor to know that my God is still alive? He's still alive. He's still working miracles. And the supernatural isn't something that we just study of the past. But do I have anybody that can say, you're sitting next to a miracle because the only reason that I'm still here is because of the power of a living God. Wait. So, Bishop, while I was in prayer about tonight, the Lord showed me the vision. He showed me a vision of a door. There wasn't anything extravagant about this door, y'all. It was just a door, just a plain old door. And I couldn't understand what the Lord was trying to show me. Then I heard him say, it's time to cross the threshold. I said, all right, give me some more. That's how I talk to God. Give me some more. And I suddenly realized that it wasn't about the door per se. Rather, he was speaking to me about what was on the other side of the door. He was giving me the invitation to cross over into something new. So I looked up, y'all, the definition of the word threshold. And dictionary.com defined it as any place or point of entering or beginning. And then I heard Holy Spirit say, he is giving us to tell y'all that he is giving you an invitation to cross over into a new move of God. You are standing at the threshold of revival. Some of y'all will accept the invitation. Even those of you that are online, some of you will accept the invitation and you will enter in. You will experience an outpouring of God's spirit in your life, in your church, in your family, in your business, in your community, and in your finances that is unlike anything that you have ever known before. But there will be people who will reject the invitation because it will require change. And it will require stepping into the unknown. You can't come into prayer like you used to. You will have to choose, and you will have to choose God's new over the complacency that you're used to. And some people, unfortunately, will choose complacency over pursuit. Hear me, Beacon Light, and family and friends. This is the time for us to cross the threshold into personal and corporate revival. Will you come into agreement? with what God desires to do through you. God revealed to me that, that the threshold is available to everybody. This move of God is not about appearance. That's why the door was just a regular old door. It's not about appearance, it's about substance. The manifestation of the gifts of the Spirit is making a comeback to the church. And no longer will you be able to simply proclaim God's word, but we will be anointed to demonstrate God's power to the world. That's why you got to have altar nights to 
because you got to be mantled with fresh power. Because the world don't believe that old power that you walked in. Because you ain't do nothing with it. 1 Corinthians 4 and 20 says, For the kingdom of God is not in word, but in power. Ask your neighbor, where's your power? So, I hope you got your prayer requests, because we about to shift this thing. Because you thought you was coming in here to ask God and to beg him for something. No, you finna walk in power. And you're going to decree and declare some things. Because you are to walk in power and not in word. Because God called each of us to be the light of the world. You have been purposed to carry the glory of God. Wherever you go, listen to me, wherever you go, the atmosphere should shift because of what you carry. I've been mantled with power in prayer. I ain't got to open my mouth, but my presence in the room. Every atmosphere you go in should shift because you're there. And I believe that miracles will be evident in this church. It will become the new normal in your life. Not just in the church, but in the marketplace, in the grocery store, at your job, because you're coming back to the altar. Because prayer is our divine connection with heaven. Through prayer, we bring the purpose of heaven to earth. We bring what God has done in the heavens to the earth, into manifestation. Now, here's the revelation you need before we pray. Not that you didn't need that, but that, that was going to lead you into this. Prayer is the gate of heaven. So prayer combined with faith unleashes a power that revolutionary, um, that revolutionizes the world. Follow me. James 5 and 16 says, the earnest prayer of a righteous man has, I like the New Living Translation, it says, has great power and produces great results. Produces wonderful results. So what does that say? That the word of God must be activated by faith through prayer. So before we pray tonight anymore, raise your faith. It is through prayer that it becomes effective and avails much. But it's got to be connected through faith. It has to be empowered by faith. Faith in the power of God's ability. He connects his acts to your action in prayer. So if you pray like you don't believe, you ain't going to see what you're praying for. Let me tell you something. Faith and feelings are on opposite ends. What does that mean? You don't have to feel like your prayers are going to be answered. You should have faith that they're going to be answered despite how you feel. Because faith, uh, because prayer clothes itself in reality and power with the very force of God himself undergirding it. So don't, don't get caught up in the facts tonight that it unravels your faith. Let your prayer be empowered by faith. Now, here's what I want you to know. Prayer is a spiritual catalyst that shifts climates and alters environment. So when we pray, we must understand that our words have power, our words have presence, and our words have prophetic implications without geographic limitations. The kingdom of God is voice activated. Everybody saying something tonight. You're not praying in your head tonight. That's meditation. You're going to open your mouth tonight. Prayer is audible. I need you to know that your words have power, presence, and prophetic implication. Hear me, without geographic limitations. What am I saying? I can be over here and pray for you three states over, and the words that I pray over here will reach you three states over and do what I need them to do because my words have presence, my words have power, and they have prophetic implication without limitation. So you're going to say something.
elevated. And as an heir to the kingdom of God, you do know you are an heir. I know y'all know y'all got good teaching here. You are an heir. So that means you can take control over atmospheres, climates, and any environment. You pray positionally. What am I saying? You pray like you're an heir. I don't pray from down here. I pray from my seat of authority. I pray positionally, a spiritual place. Jesus was raised above powers and principalities. So we are in Christ Jesus and therefore we pray above principalities and powers. And so since we are heirs, we dominate in the area of prayer when we pray positionally. I don't care what happens in your life, you better pray like you know who you are. Tell your neighbor who you are. I'm an heir to the kingdom of God. Since I am an heir, my words create frequency. When I pray, my words create frequency. So, so you can voice print the atmosphere to create a climate for the agenda of heaven and God to prevail. Here's the impartation. Prayer is voice printing. Mark 11 and 22 through 24, Jesus replied, have faith in God constantly. I assure you and most solemnly say to you, whoever says to this mountain, be lifted up and thrown into the sea and does not doubt in his heart in God's unlimited power, but believes that what he says is going to take place, it will be done for him in accordance with God's will. For this reason, I am telling you, whatever things you ask for in prayer, in accordance with God's will, believe with confident trust that you will receive them and they will be given to you. Prayer is audible, verbal expression that changes everything. It's voice printing the atmosphere. So if you don't voice print, then you live under an old frequency controlled by who and what knows what and who knows who. If you don't go into the atmosphere of wherever you're going and change it with your voice, whoever was the last person that spoke in that atmosphere, that's the frequency that you are currently living under. So think about what you've been going through. And think about who was the last person talking. And then think about how your life has been. And think about what you said and what you didn't say. And what I just said to you. That's the revelation you got to leave here with today. You are in charge of the atmosphere. And your prayers and your words have the authority since you are an heir of the kingdom of God, you have the authority to voice print the atmosphere. You have the power and the authority to silence the voice of the enemy in any environment being used to support his satanic agenda. The issue is we got too many people that silently praying. You let the devil shut you up. So you can't counteract the atmosphere. You can't counteract the voice that's in the atmosphere because you won't open your mouth. You voice print the atmosphere by what you decree and what you declare, by what you say. It's like system override. You ready to pray now? You can defy the odds. Because somebody prays. I don't care what's going on. My Bible tells me in Job 22 and 28, when I decide and decree a thing, it will be established for you. And the light of God's favor will shine on your way. I'm God's prophetic voice in the earth realm. I don't care who don't like it. I 
establish his will on the earth. This is how you got to talk to yourself sometimes. I establish his will on the earth. As with God, nothing is impossible. So it is that through prayer, nothing is implausible. The words I speak resound throughout time. The prayers that I pray are spirit and life. My mouth is the canal that God is using to birth his purpose. You got to take control of the atmosphere. That's what I came to tell you. It's time to start voice printing. You got to go home and voice print. You got to go to work and voice print. You got to go to school and work voice print. You got to go into the bank and voice print. You got to go to the doctor's office and voice print. You got to come into the church and voice print. You got to go wherever there is fear in voice print. You have to take control of the atmosphere by elevating the frequency that you're currently living in to a faith frequency. And I heard the spirit of the Lord say, it's time for you to get your expectation back. Who am I talking to today? This is going to be your time time for your mouth to declare what you have seen and heard in the spirit. It's no time to be afraid. It's no time to back down. It's no time to think that you're not worthy. It's no time to think that God can't use you. It's no time to think that you don't have help. If God showed it to you and if God said it to you, it's time for you to open your mouth and start declaring it until everything in your life responds to it. It's time to start voice printing the atmosphere and it's time to start making things come into alignment. It's time for you to get your expectation back. Come on, let's go and get ready to pray. Get your expectation back. Get your prayer list out of your purse. And get it out of your pocket and get it on your heart and get it on your mind. We're getting ready to go to God in prayer a little bit more with expectation tonight. Can't waste any more time coming into agreement with the enemy. And we will not waste time in prayer on things that's already been released as ours. Take your rightful place as heirs. Pick your head up and declare what's yours. I know your circumstances are probably mocking your promise right now. Who's ready to shut it up? Get on your feet. Because <laughs> there's a release coming to you. There's a release coming to you. Your future or your funeral is on the tip of your tongue. When you're at the altar night, because today you decide if you're going to live or you're going to die. Today we decide if your business is going to live or you, is it going to die. Today you decide if your ministry is going to live or is it going to die. Today you decide if you're going to live and be in good health or if you're going to die. It's on the tip of your tongue. Y'all got the revelation? Are you ready to voice sprint? Come, let's fill the altar. And as you make your way to the altar, I want you to come and already start lifting the name of the Lord in your own way. I want you to already come before him in your own praise, in your own worship. Begin to exalt his name. And as you exalt his name... I'm going to begin to declare over you and pray over you. And we're going to go and we're going to begin to go further and further. But the, I need you to go forward in this moment. And I need you to raise your voice. I don't need you to come timidly to the altar. I don't want you to lift his name like you're afraid. But I want you to lift his name like you know who you are. And you're not ashamed of who he is. God, you are Adonai. And you are El Shaddai. You are the great Jehovah. And you are the great I Am. We lift your name in this place today. We magnify you and we exalt you. We lift your name above every name. We lift your name above every circumstance. We make your name large today. As we have already blessed.
bless you. We continue to bless your name today. We continue to magnify you. We continue to glorify you because there is nobody like you, oh God. There is no one like you in all of the earth. So tonight, as we come to the altar, we just stop to release our praise. We stop to give you high praise today. Come on, somebody give a hallelujah shout in this place. Raise up your hallelujah to the Lord. As we raise up our hallelujah, things are about to shift quickly for the saints of God in the house. Those of you that are watching online, lift up his name in your home. Lift up his name in your car. Begin to shout hallelujah. Because as you shout hallelujah, I decree and declare that things are about to shift quickly for you. The Lord God, your banner has gone before you. The Lord God, your breaker, has gone before you. He goes before you, and he is with you. He will not leave you, and he will not forsake you. So don't be afraid, and don't be dismayed. As we lift our praise, we cast out the spirit of fear, and we release power, we release love, and we release a sound mind. We thank you now, God, for a sound mind. We bring every thought under subjection to the power of Holy Spirit. We employ and apply the blood of Jesus to our mind. And we apply the blood of Jesus to every thought. And we bring it subject to the power of the living God. And we bring it subject to have a sound mind. We cast out fear. We cast out fear. We cast out fear. We cast out fear. We're not afraid to pray. We're not afraid to believe. We're not afraid to go with you, God. Here we are in your presence, oh God. Here we are in your presence, oh God. Here we are in your presence, saying we're going where you want us to go. If you're leading, we're following. If you're leading, we're following you. We don't want to go where you're not going. We don't want to do with if you're not with us. But God, we're yielding to you. We surrender our agenda to you, oh God. We surrender our plans to you, oh God. We say yes. We say yes. We say yes. Come on, raise up a yes. We say yes. Somebody raise up your yes to God. We say yes. As we let go of fear, we say yes to power. We say yes to power. We say yes to the new. We're crossing the threshold. We're crossing the threshold. Come on. Come on and tell the Lord, yes. Yes, I'll cross to the new. Yes, I'll cross the threshold. I'm going where you're going. I'm going where you're going. I'm going where you're going. Give me fresh perspective. Give me fresh perspective. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And so, Father, as we give you a yes at the altar today, we pray and declare that revival and awakening be superimposed over Beacon Light of Hannon. We thank you now for a new sound. We thank you for a new identity. And we thank you for new authority. We take our place, oh God, in the new, oh God. We will take up our place of impact. We will take up our place of impact. Oh God, ignite beacon light, oh God, with your presence. Ignite beacon light with your power. Ignite beacon light with your personality. As they have crossed over into a new threshold, give them a new sound. 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 Listen for it. Listen for it. Give them a new sound. Give them a new sound. Give them a new authority. Give them a new personality. As they cross over, give them a new personality, oh God. As they go forth, oh God, with fresh impact, Father. Ignite them afresh tonight, God. Ignite them afresh, oh God. Come on, cry out for it, cry out for it. He's going to give you the new sound. Come on, cry out for it. 
He's going to give it to you. For as many as are led by the Spirit of God, these be the sons of God. We decree and declare that the sons of God are arising. The sons of God are arising. The sons of God are arising. The sons of God are arising with power and glory restored and healed. Promotions here 
and glory's here. Healing's here. Promotion's here. Come on, pray. Come on and pray. Come on and pray. Come on and pray. We command it. We declare it to be established. And we put a time stamp on it. We put a time stamp on it. In the next seven days. Oh, I need some people to believe God for it. In the next seven days. In the next seven days. In the next seven days. Let them go and start declaring in the next seven days. In the next seven days. Somebody's report is going to be in reverse. Somebody's diagnosis is going to be in reverse. I need somebody to let faith arise. Somebody's Somebody's going to have a promotion in the next seven days. Somebody's relationship is going to be restored in the next seven days. Break it down. I hear you in the next seven days. Put a time stamp on it in the next seven days. Say it. In the next seven days. Stay there in the next seven days. In the next seven days. Because the breath of God is shifting things in every area of your life. I decree and declare that the breath of God that we prophesied and read in the scripture is shifting everything in your life. So God, we thank you for breathing in our direction. God, we give you glory. Father, we praise you for breathing in our direction. God, we thank you for restoring life. We thank you for peace. We thank you for health. I need some people who believe the report of the Lord is in your favor to start thanking God, to start clapping your hands, to start waving your hands, to start waving your hands and thank God for restoring life, for restoring peace, for restoring your health. What up? So we bless you today, God. We bless you today, and we receive the supernatural shifts that you have prepared for us. You say it, I receive the supernatural shifts that you have prepared for me. I won't reject them. Don't say it if you don't mean it. I won't reject them. If I got to let something go, I'll let it go. I receive it. Lift your hands to the Lord. Because we are done being in our own power. We are done being in our own understanding. And we are done doing our own thing. Help us to follow your way. Help us to follow you, God, all the way to power, all the way to provision, all the way to demonstration, all the way to the new level of authority that you have given us in the strong name of Jesus. We thank you for a fresh wind of healing. Come on, lift your hands and let them heal you. Ooh, I 
feel it. Even at the altar, he's healing. Even online, he's healing emotional wounds. Give it to him, give it to him. Give him the deep emotional wounds. The hurt that happened 10 years ago, give it to him right here at the altar. Right in your living room, give him the deep-seated emotional wound. There, there's a wind of healing blowing. He's healing emotional wounds. And as you yield and give it to him, he's giving you the oil of gladness. Come on, lift your hands and give it to him. You got to open your mouth and you got to give it to him. Those of you online, you got to open your mouth and you have to give it to him. You have to give it to him. We voice print the atmosphere now. And we say, we give you the emotional wounds. And we receive the oil of gladness. We receive the healing of our emotions. We receive the healing of our wounds, the ancient wounds. In our minds and in our emotions, we receive healing tonight. In our mind and in our emotions, we receive healing tonight, oh God. So as you're healing, you are, we decree and declare that you are Jehovah Rapha, the Lord God that heals. You've already healed our minds and you've already healed our bodies. And so we come into agreement with the healing that you've already given unto us. And so we say, as it is in heaven, let it be right here on earth today. As it is in heaven, let it be right here on earth today, oh God. We get out of the way. We take down the wall. We stop protecting the wound. We stop protecting the hurt. And we give it over to you, God. We give it over to you, God. So I decree and declare. That PTSD is being healed. I decree and declare that anxiety is being healed. I decree and declare that depression, deep seated depression, is being healed. That emotional lethargy and depression and tiredness is, is being healed I decree and declare that, that bipolar disorder is being healed that your body is balancing out that manic episode and, and the minor is being balanced out the chemical mind, the chemical imbalance is being balanced out by the power of the living God confusion is being healed and your mind is coming into clarity I release clarity in the mind I release clarity in the mind. I release clarity in the mind. I release clarity in the mind. I cancel the assignment of confusion and I release clarity to your mind. Clarity. Clarity. As you're healing, oh God, we thank you that anger and sadness are leaving. And as anger and sadness are leaving, we decree and declare that sleep disruption and disorders that were byproducts of that are being reset. Come on, out of your mouth. Reset my sleep cycle. Reset my, reset, my sleep cycle and bring it into order. Bring it into order. The, the disorder is breaking off of me now. It's breaking off of you now. It's break, you open your mouth and declare it. It's breaking off of me now. Insomnia, we cancel your assignment. And we release sweet sleep over the people of God. We release peaceful sleep over the people of God. We, re, we release restorative sleep over the people of God. You shall rest in the glory of God. You shall be replenished in the glory of God. You shall be restored in the glory of God because healing is taking place and your mind is being healed and anger is leaving and confusion is leaving and pain is leaving and anxiety is leaving and PTSD is leaving and emotional lethargy is leaving and nightmares and torment are leaving by the power of the living God, we put that sleep demon to run and we decree and declare that the glory of the Lord shall arrest your house. It 
shall arrest your house. It shall arrest your house. I release the scripture into your bedroom and declare that arise and shine for the glory of the Lord shall rise upon you. I release the scripture over your bedroom that the King of glory shall be in your house. In my house, God. In my house. Nightmares and torment are over. Nightmares and torment are over. Nightmares and torment are over. Somebody help me. Declare it. Nightmares and torment are over. Not anymore. Not anymore. Not at your house. Say it. Not in my house. Not in my mind. Not in my children's mind. Not in your cousin's mind. Not in your family's mind. It's over. And as we declared an end to it, I leave you here that deep-seated trauma is leaving. You know the trauma that you don't want to talk about. That don't nobody know about. You don't even want to say it. That's all right. I got the power to voice print your life. I decree and declare over you, your bloodline, and those that are connected to you, that the deep-seated trauma that has been haunting you and your family and your bloodline is over. It has to leave you, and I reverse the effects that have been haunting you and terrorizing yes. you and been causing yes. you problems yes. for however many days yes. it's been causing you. By the power of the living God, I put that trauma on the run. I put every demon assigned to it on the run. And every person attached to it, I put you in reverse and send you back from whence you came. And I have put a blood covering around your mind, around your emotions, around your heart that keeps you protected. That you won't be triggered. We disengage demonic triggers. We disengage psychological triggers. We disengage emotional triggers. We short circuit them. And I decree and declare that they will not work. No, they won't. They will not work. No, they won't. But instead, you shall have a praise. Instead. You will give God glory because it didn't take you out. You will give God glory because you didn't die there. You will give God glory because it wasn't the end of you. You will give God glory because God's turning your trauma into legacy. Yes, legacy in the mighty name of Jesus. Somebody give him glory. Because God's turning your trauma yes. into legacy. legacy. Somebody give him praise. Because yes. he's turning your trauma into legacy. Turn it around, God. Let me hear you. Turn it around, God. We glorify you, God. We lift he's you turning God. it around. It's turning around in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Woo. Glory to God. Bless his holy name. Bless his holy name. We give you glory today. We glorify you. Because the devil lost again. He thought that trauma was going to take you out. But do I have any people in the room and online that don't mind giving God a glorious shout of praise? Because he's turning your trauma into legacy. Yes, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lord, you're worthy. Glory to your name, God. And so, God, as I have declared your word, Hallelujah. let victory be established. Yes, victory. In Christ Jesus' name. Yes, victory. And we believe. Yes. Repeat after me. And we believe. And we believe. That 
that we receive. That we receive. Everything. everything. We prayed for. Yes, We've declared. Yes, yes, and that's been decreed. Yes. In Christ Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Clap your hands and give the Lord a praise. Glory, God. We give you glory, God. We give you glory, God. We give you glory, God. As you, as you go back to your seat, I want to leave you with this one last thing. Hallelujah. As we leave from this place, and you've already crossed over that threshold, Bishop said something before I got up, and he said that it was something was happening at your house. Yes. And I got my phone out, Bishop, and I wrote this down as I was sitting over there, and I got to read it to you. Yes. It's not there. Mm -hmm. He said, a divine reset of God is upon y'all, and everything will be changed. Yes. He said, you are being restored. You are being healed. You are being increased. You are being upgraded. You are being strengthened. Yes. You are being fortified. Yes. And you are being drawn deeper into the secret place with Jesus like never before. Yes. Then he said, people who used to doubt you, question your gift, and question whether or not you had it, are about to have front row seats to your elevation. Y'all do know that what's on him falls on y'all, right? And then I wrote, he said, and they will not be able to hate because it'll be so apparent and obvious that what's happened for you is God. And they'll just have to shake their heads and celebrate you. I heard the Lord say, I'm doing something that you didn't see coming. I'm blessing you by surprise. And those unspoken prayers and desires are coming to pass. He said, they're about to come to pass. God heard you, even though you didn't say it. He told me to tell you that he heard your heart, even though you'd already reserve, uh, resolved within yourself that you didn't deserve it and you didn't qualify. Well, he's about to reward your faithfulness. The Lord says, he's been looking at your heart the entire time. And I heard him say, this is your time. So get ready to move. Get ready to shift positions. Get ready to walk in a new place of authority and honor. Amen. Last thing. <laughs> the last time some people looked at you, they questioned your authenticity. But the next time they look at you, they're going to respect your authority. He said... Because, see, what's happening now in the kingdom is that people are chasing fame. But he's mantling his sons with authority. Sons, not in gender, but in posture. And he's mantling you with new authority. He said, let them have the fame. They don't have the authority. When you step in, Everything's come subject to your authority. And they will have no choice but to respect your authority and honor it. So they might have questioned your motive, but this season they'll respect your authority and support your next moves. The people who secretly and silently wanted you to fail, the Lord says, are about to pray for you. They're about to push you forward. And they are about to help you pay for the expansion of your assignment. And they are about to help you pay and increase 
the vision that God has given you. Your haters are becoming helpers. And your cynics are becoming cheerleaders. And never, ever again second guess yourself. Because you've been mantled with fresh authority that cannot be denied. In Christ Jesus' name, thus said the Spirit of the Lord. And I won't take it back. Before I take it back, I'll add to it. That said the Spirit of grace. Now, if y'all receive that for your man of God, clap your hands, because what's, what's on the lid flows down. Come on, give God a hand clap of praise all over the house of the Lord tonight. Amen. <laughs> My God, what a move, what a move, what a move, what a move. When God pricked my heart concerning this meeting tonight, we're on our way out. Uh, he told me that everybody shall leave ignited. There's going to be a fire that will not be quenched, that will not be quelled in our hearts. Amen. And it's going to begin to burn. But the days that are ahead are going to be some dark days for the world. And those of us who have the light of God and carry the light of God's gospel of grace, we must be in a season that's focused and postured in prayer. Hallelujah. Amen. Reach over, touch your neighbor tonight. I believe something was cemented in them tonight. I believe something was stirred in them tonight. I believe it was worth your coming. It was worth your streaming. It was worth whatever it took for you to get here on tonight. Whatever you canceled, whatever you rearranged, whatever you had to press through to get here on tonight. Listen, we need to understand spiritual significance. Amen. And tonight was a night of significance for us in the spirit. Father, we pray and we thank you now. Yes, God. That everything that the woman of God decreed and declared by way of your spirit and your grace tonight, that it is ours, Lord. We thank you that one word shall not fall. One word shall not be uh, put down void, Lord God, but it shall happen, Lord God. And we declare it's going to happen on the deadline, Lord God. We thank you for what we receive from you tonight in prayer, Lord God. And we thank you for this new season that you have us in. We thank you for how you're shifting us, Lord God. We we thank you for the newness, Lord, that we are walking in tonight, Lord. We thank you that, they, that you are doing something good and you're doing something God inside of each and every one of us. We love you tonight. We bless you in Jesus' name. We pray. Amen. Amen. I need your whole row to give God praise from your chair tonight. Hallelujah. 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 Uh, it was so very, very challenging. I thank uh, Pastor Maya for, for her words spoken by the Spirit of Grace. It was so challenging to come to uh, a final decision to do this because there's so much going on post pandemically that people are not valuing uh, spiritual priorities anymore like they once did. That they're so distracted now. There's so many excuses and ways that we can hide from God. Uh, but I told God, God, I'll do it. I'll give you a yes. Amen. I thank God for every one of you who pressed tonight. Was it worth your coming tonight? Amen. Now listen, those of you who have ears to hear, every third Sunday the Lord told me until the end of the year, he says, I want you to call this meeting. I'm not sure if we're going to have folks to fly in like we did tonight, but he said every third Sunday, he says, I want you to challenge the people to seek me like they haven't sought me in a long, long time. And what God is going to do is he's going to restore some things to you. He's going to bring clarity in your life. Oh, man. When she was praying, man, there were certain things that were being broken. I don't know if y'all felt that in the spirit especially those of you that's been having sleep disturbances, amen, as she was praying for bipolarism because the enemy is after your mind, the stronghold is in your mind, amen. But tonight we declare that our minds are off limits from the enemy. Hallelujah, and God is doing a new thing. 
So every third Sunday night, this is where we're going to be. Final act of obedience before we head to our cars tonight. Uh, the Lord said September is the ninth month. September is uh, a transition month. We're transitioning seasons in September in the natural. And I believe that we're transitioning seasons also in the spirit as well. Y'all watch. If I be not a man of God, you're going to begin to see the climate spiritually begin to shift uh, in, our, in our country. What she was teaching tonight on words. Look at your neighbor and say, watch your mouth. Amen. 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 Look at somebody else say, no idle words in this season. Amen. No idle words. What do you say? I ain't just saying stuff to say it. I ain't just saying stuff because it's funny. Listen, no idle words in this season because your words have so much power. My heart was broken the other day when I read about the rapper that was killed there in Los Angeles. And they began to bring the video back of the stuff that he was saying out of his mouth. You got to be careful. I know we have some music lovers. I love music as well. You got to be careful of what you're repeating out of your mouth. Because the violence that's coming out of their mouth is starting to harvest in their life. Hallelujah. Why? Because it's chess. It's not checkers. The enemy understand what we speak consistently, we will see eventually. So we got a voice print. Ooh, I, gotta, I hope you wrote that down. Pull out your phone right now and write that down. Voice print, voice print. There's certain things I got I to gotta speak, amen, and print them, amen, so that they can manifest in my life. Put that word down, voice print. If you don't already have it written in your phone, say it, God's intention for my family. It's for, it's for, it's for my family to be healthy, to be strong, to be productive, and to be fruitful. Say it again, healthy, strong, productive, fruitful. And I believe that's what this next season is producing in your life. It's a season of fruitfulness. It's a season of productivity. It's a season of strength. It's a season of resilience. You will not break under the pressure. You are strong. Your family name is strong. And it's a season of health. Amen. No more toxicity in the natural no more toxicity in your relationships, in your family. I speak health in the mighty name of Jesus. God is birthing that in you. Uh, I, I want to challenge you tonight to meet me uh, with a $99 seed in this ninth month, ninth month. I want you to sow this very intentionally tonight for what it is that God is birthing in us, those of you who have ears to hear. Would you do that now? If you need an envelope to do that, I want you to lift your hand tonight. Just by faith, I want you to, to sow. Uh, tonight, a seed of $99. If you need an envelope, lift your hand. If you're giving on your cell phone, they're putting it up right quickly. Uh, you can give. Yeah, there it is. You can give by way of text. You can give by way of cash app. Those of you that's watching me online, do not click off. Some of you tonight, it's a seed of faith that, God, I believe you're birthing something new. Amen. In us tonight. Your $99 seed is going to take care of everything we needed to uh, have taken care of for this worship experience on uh, tonight. We're sowing into this meeting. We're sowing into the anointing that's upon this particular meeting on this gathering on tonight. And I want you to do that. You say, Bishop, I don't have $99. If I had it, I would give it. I want you to sow something that ends with 9, 19, 29, 39, 49, 59, 69, 79, 89, 99. Some of you, as the Spirit of God is leading you, I want you to give something that ends with 9. Amen. Because this is a month of transition. This is a month of birthing. Amen. This is a month of manifestation of what it is that you've been carrying in prayer over these last nine months. And I declare unto you that it shall come to pass. Hallelujah. Glory to God. As we're going to do this tonight, can y'all bring me my phone so I can uh, join in with everyone else? I want you to do this tonight. You're watching me uh, by stream tonight. I want you to do that as well. Thank you so much. Amen. And as we give tonight, pull up your cash app. Go ahead and text to give. We're going to sow a seed tonight. If you can give the $99 seed, I want you to do that. Amen. And watch what God do. Watch how God connects you to the anointing that's in this room tonight. Amen. And everything that was spoken tonight, hallelujah, is going to be connected through your seed of faith. Amen. I want you to do that tonight. If you're giving on uh, Cash App, you can find us at BL Hammond uh, is our handle on Cash App. Uh, 28950 is the number that you're going to text if you're texting to give. Uh, and in the message section, BLBC, a space, and then the amount 
that you're going to give. $99, because God, I believe you're birthing something in my family. Amen. I believe you're entering our family into a better and a brand new season. Glory to God. Amen. Would I, uh, can you stand now when you're ready tonight? Amen. I want you to stand. We're on our way out. We don't have anything else tonight. Amen. Glory to God. I want, as you stand tonight, uh, we're going to lift and wave our gifts. Amen. I'm going to declare uh, Psalm 114 over your life. May the Lord increase you more and more, you and your children. May he put you into a season of bountifulness. Amen. May God cause you now to enter into the season of profit. May God turn now every situation around on your behalf. May God now allow his prophetic word to harvest in your life. He's bringing you, according to Psalm 66, into a wealthy place. Say it, I'm coming into a wealthy place. Amen. Not, not just a rich place. Amen. We pass rich, y'all. We want to believe God for wealth now because wealth extends beyond your lifestyle. Hallelujah. Your lifetime, excuse me. We're going to believe God that my children are never going to have to fight certain financial battles that I have fought because God is bringing me into a wealthy place. Amen. God has a long-term future for my finances. We pray, according to Job 28 and 1, that you might find the vein of prosperity. Amen. That God is going to allow you to tap into something that's going to cause your life to be enriched. We pray according to Psalm 37 and 19 that you're going to be satisfied in the days of famine. That God, whatever goes on in the earth, we thank you that you're going to satisfy me even in the days of famine. Gas could go up to $10. You're going to satisfy me in the days of famine. Milk can go up to $7, $8. You're going to satisfy me in the days of famine, Lord God. God, according to your word. We thank you tonight, Lord God. Yes, God, in Matthew chapter number 10, that tonight we're going to receive a prophet's reward. That everything we sow into tonight, we shall receive the harvest of the prophet's reward. That whatever the Spirit of God spoke by way of prophecy, it shall be ours in the mighty name of Jesus. Finally, according to Proverbs chapter 22, we're going to leave a legacy to our children's children. That we're not going to be the only one that's blessed, but our children's children are going to be blessed as a result of the favor of God that we're stepping into in our lifetime. Come on, lift your gifts and wave them all over the house of the Lord on today. Amen. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you now that as we give, we give with intentionality. We sow into the anointing that's on this gathering tonight. We sow now even by obedience, Lord God, into the very thing that you cause to bless our life. We thank you, Lord, that as we sow into this, it's going to show up in our future and we're going to begin to see a manifestation of every seed that has been sown. We believe that it is done now. It's in the name of Jesus that we pray. Amen. Amen. Say it. I receive it. In the name of Jesus, amen. If you have an envelope, you can come and lay it here at the altar, amen. Come on, let's lift our gifts now, and let's bless it now even over this song. Yes, great things. Hallelujah. Come on, you can stay standing say it. I'm expecting great things. Hallelujah. Yes, I'm expecting. Hallelujah. Come on, say it now. Great things. Hallelujah. Yes, we thank God. Everybody, speak it over your life now. I'm expecting. Oh, yes, God. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. We're expecting great things, God. May your word harvest for us. Hallelujah. Come on, say it. Great things. Hallelujah. Yes. Say it in my life. You do great you things. Do great things. Yes. Yes. In my home. In my home. Yes. You do great things, you God. Do great Something is shifting. Yeah. Better things are coming. Yes. All around. All around me, I believe it's happening. You do great things. You do great things. Yes, God. Eyes haven't seen. Oh, God, yes. Still in great things. Hallelujah. Won't you find somebody now? Give them a fist bump. Give them a high five. Tell them better days are ahead for you. Come on, find somebody else. Give them a high five. Tell them better days 
are ahead for you. Hallelujah. Receive now. Put your hands in a receiving position. Father, we seal now everything that has transpired tonight, Lord God. We thank you that we were able to be here, Lord. We don't take this time for granted. As we would leave now and go our separate ways to our different locations, Lord God, we thank you, Lord God, that this same anointing, this same fire is going back to our house, Lord God. We thank you right now for what you're going to do over the next several days and weeks in our lives, oh God. We love you and we bless you for a strong week this week, Lord God. It's in Jesus' name that we pray. Amen, amen, and it is so. Amen. On your way out, won't you love on somebody tell them this was good tonight this was good yes i'm expecting great things oh great things hallelujah wow all i can say is it was definitely worth the wait for this fire at the altar sister what did you take away from pastor my wife I, I mean, I have no words. She was simply amazing. Um, I am blessed on how she allowed God to open up and just really, really pour into everyone. And so we want to personally thank Pastor Maya White for traveling, being a part of this fire at the altar, sharing and allowing God to use her just to be a blessing to the people. And if this experience has blessed you like it really has blessed me and my sister here, Victoria, um, at this time, um, I ask you to pour into our ministry through giving. The information is on the screen. Um, God, he loves a cheerful giver and we want to um, I'd be obedient to that and I'm just oh my gosh my heart is just so full right now so uh, I just I have no words that's right and if this was a blessing to you in the form of you needing prayer rededication salvation or if you want to join this ministry text the information on the screen right now and we will get to you connected to the right section Right, right. Thank you, Sister Victoria. I mean, so family, this has been an amazing Sunday overall. We have been fed multiple times and we just look forward to seeing you back here in this place virtually or um, in the sanctuary. Have a good evening.